Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. This is another noob cast. This is Blamus, and we are on the Shattered Temple, bringing you game number three between Drink, the Green Terran, and Dark Omicron, the Purple Protoss. So far, Dark Omicron has been dominant in this series, taking the first two. And... Uh, Dark Omicron wants us to go to StarcraftCentral.net. <laughs> Drink says, what's that? I'm going to have to go to StarcraftCentral.net and see what that is. Uh, Dark Omicron uh, is a High Masters player. He does stream, I think, from time to time. Um, you know, Drink likes Team Liquid. I like Team Liquid, too. Uh, yeah. Daddy, what are you playing? Hey, look at this. It's Stargirl. I'm not playing anything. We're watching Dark Omicron <laughs> and drink. <laughs> it's been a while since you've been on. You're waving to the computer screen. Why don't you say hello? Hi. Alrighty. Well, we're back. And nothing out of the ordinary happening thus far. Gateway down for Dark Omicron. And barracks going up for drink. Yep. A barracks. It is a barracks. Mama making a new cast. And the dog's in here. Now the whole family's in here. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> And there they go. We'll have to do a cast with Stargirl in the near future. I think she's going to take a bath. Anyway, back in the game. Orbital Command going down for Drink. Cybercore going down for Dark Omicron. Uh, this is the new... The new Blizzard map. I actually really like this map. I like this new stuff. I didn't really hate Lost Temple. Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't really care about all the problems that people talked about it having. But I really like this new one. I like the open center. Um, I like. I don't really like maps with island bases on them. Just kind of like a hassle if someone actually goes through everything you have to do to get over there. Like, it might as well just be like, GG, whatever. I'm not freaking building what I need to get over there to fight you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lazy player. Lazy player. In any case, here we go. What's happening? we got scouts running around. We've got a zealot running over. We've got a bunker going down. And Four marines hanging out, waiting for it. To, they're gonna go in there and play some cards, hang out, have some, uh, have a drink or two. You know, try and pass the time while they wait for some, some action. Which looks as though Dark Omicron wants to send in his zealot to die all by his lonesome. This is a very aggressive. This is a two gate robo. Wow. Very and and aggressive at that. Just pushing in. Um, trying to do everything he can with uh, his early units. Even just to keep Drink on his toes. Drink getting his expansion up and running. Uh, again, what, same kind of scenario we saw last two games with the three uh, barracks. <coughs> fast expand. And uh, bunkers for protection. Um, you might think that he, considering the outcome of the last two games, he might reconsider this build. But um, maybe, I don't think this is like practice where uh, Dark Omicron is asking him to do a particular build or anything. But we do have, ooh, War Prism. This is very good. Oh, I really like this play. Um, just not just going to be unexpected by um, a stalker only takes up one spot in a war prism that is new information for me ladies and gentlemen um, and look at this 
These guys are going to be all the way out here, not even close to the action. Uh, Dark Omicron able to warp in more Zealots. It could warp in another, uh, some more Stalkers if he wants, but it looks like he's going to take the opportunity to expand. If you notice down here on the mini-map, his uh, expansion is going down, but it looks like he is going to lose the Warp Prism. Oh, so close. But instead of uh, losing the units that were in it, and Drink going to be able to hold that off. Uh, he was able to just send his SCVs down to this uh, expansion, which uh, is a very good play. And something that you should take note of, if you have two bases and someone attacks your main or your natural, just grab, you know, grab your guys and click on the mineral patches. They'll pass right through all the attacking units. And what is going on there? Okay. Um, they'll go right through the attacking units and continue to mine. It won't be as efficient as, as if, if you had two bases open, but then you can just, after the... Uh, after the... Battle's over. You can send them back to doing what they're doing. It's a lot of Marines right here. Dark Omicron is going to be in big trouble. Uh, he may actually lose this Nexus. It looks like that might be what's going to happen. He doesn't have any more force fields. Um, and he only has a couple Stalkers and this Immortal, which is not going to help him against Marines. He will lose this Nexus uh, unless he's able to get down there and do some damage quickly. The Immortal is still out of range, and it's not going to be able to tank damage for him like a Zealot will uh, once these Marines get through the Hardened Shield. Bringing in the probes even to try and help. Um, wow, looks like he is going to be able to hold this off. I'm actually pretty surprised. <coughs> and would not be surprised if Drink sends this uh, group out to attack just as quickly. Um, this is a bad idea. I think, for Dark Omicron to be sending units out. Um, but I would keep the pressure on if I'm Drink, and it looks like that is exactly what's going to happen here. Um, the Colossus is out. Robotics Bay is down. But still halfway. Oh, we got a match, a fight happening here in the middle. Dark Omicron does give the GG. Can't run away from all those Marines. As soon as those units were dead, he would run in here to a completely defenseless base. And even one Colossus is not going to help you uh, against this many Marines. Thanks, guys, for the set. Fun watching. Dark Omicron takes the set 2-1, to one, but still a fun game 3 to watch. And uh, that's it for tonight, kitties. It's been fun. It's good to be back. Um, I'm, I can promise only one thing. There will be content but I'm not going to kick my own butt trying to get it out like I was doing before. Um, to be honest, I don't see... Um, I don't... You know, there's new guys on the scene, Lag TV, Cats Pajamas, um, who came out after Newcast did, and for whatever reason, out of my hands, and it's all good, you know, they were able to get big and... Um, get some uh, remuneration for the time that it takes to produce things at this level. And we're not going to be able to do that. And that's cool. We didn't start this to, uh, you know, to make a living out of it. Although it would be nice. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, but because of that, we can't, I, I cannot personally put all the time that I had been putting into it before. Um, so, I'll do as much content as I can, and I'm glad for those of you who have stuck around. All right, guys, this is Blomus. Keep climbing that ladder. Peace out.